This is the Jelco Bucket Rescue Kit. This emergency bucket rescue system is capable of rescuing an injured worker from an aerial device in less than two minutes. The Jelco Bucket Rescue Kit consists of a set of three sheave blocks contained in a vinyl sleeve, protected by a weather-resistant outer vinyl bag, and attached to fall arrest rated nylon straps. Many companies using aerial devices do not have an emergency bucket rescue system. They rely on maneuvering the booms and positioning the buckets. So the unconscious worker can be pulled out of the buckets and onto the ground. This means the booms must be fully extended and rotated over the front or rear of the vehicle. These boom movements are time consuming. Accident investigation results have shown that maneuvering the buckets to the ground and then trying to extract the unconscious worker from the bucket can take upwards of five minutes to complete. The rescue can take even more time if overhead conductors and obstructions restrict the path of the buckets. And for some aerial devices, the boom configuration will not permit the buckets to reach the ground. In the simulation you have just watched, it took four and a half minutes from the time the accident occurred to when the injured worker was pulled from the bucket. The Jelco Bucket Rescue Kit will enable you to safely and quickly rescue an unconscious worker from any working position. And it works effectively on all kinds of aerial devices. This video will show you how to rescue an unconscious worker from an aerial device using the Jelco Bucket Rescue Kit. We will demonstrate how two people can perform a bucket rescue using the five steps described in the user guide. You will also see how the rescue is completed when there is only one person available to perform the rescue. We will show you how to pack the rope blocks into the kit so it's ready to be used again. And we will show you how to inspect and maintain the Jelco Bucket Rescue Kit. The bucket rescue device consists of a set of three sheave blocks that provide a mechanical advantage of five to one. The blocks are sheaved with 110 feet of 3 8 inch double braid nylon rope. A loop is tied in the end of the fall line. The blocks and the fall line are packed into two inner bags and an outer weather resistant bag. The bags are made from 18 ounce vinyl. The whole system is held in place by two nylon straps. The top strap is one inch nylon. It is held firmly in place by a ratchet assembly and rubber grip pads. The bottom strap has a quick release buckle and rubber grip pads. This bucket rescue kit has been designed and tested for a safe working load of 300 pounds with a safety factor of 10 to 1. The kit will work for all types of aerial devices and fits square, rectangular and round booms. To attach the rescue kit, position the bag on the top of the boom, seven feet from the bucket axle. This distance may vary on some aerial devices, so check your user guide for more information on positioning the bag on your aerial device. Pass the top strap around the boom and feed the end through the ratchet. Operate the ratchet until it has pulled the straps tight. The snap strap can be secured using the snap and then pulled tight. We will now demonstrate how to perform a rescue of an unconscious worker using two people. The procedure we will be following is described in the user guide. An emergency bucket rescue is initiated as soon as the person on the ground discovers the tradesperson in the bucket is in trouble. If the tradesperson in the bucket is not breathing, you have less than three minutes to perform the rescue and begin first aid if they are to have a good chance of survival. This crew has noticed the worker in the bucket has gone unconscious and has slumped into the bottom of the bucket. One rescuer begins to lower the bucket while the other worker calls for assistance. Lower the bucket to a position alongside of the vehicle. Plan your route and be aware of hazards and obstacles that may impede the bucket's descent. In most cases, you can maneuver the bucket into position by lowering the upper boom first and then raising the lower boom to its maximum position. Once the bucket is in position, you pull the rope loop that is sticking out of the bag. This will release the blocks and fall line and they will fall out of the bag. Pull on the fall line to ensure all the rope is released from the bag. Release the carabiner from the rope loop. Remove any twists that may be present and then pull the carabiner and the blocks to the injured worker. 
Grab the worker's lanyard and pull it upwards to expose the D-ring on the worker's harness. Attach the carabiner to the D-ring and then attach the worker's lanyard. You can now pull the injured worker from the bucket. Once their feet have cleared the edge of the bucket, begin lowering them to the ground. Guide the injured worker to the ground and begin first aid. This rescue simulation took one and a half minutes to complete. With practice, you can attain a similar result. We will now demonstrate how to perform a rescue of an unconscious worker using only one person. In this situation, the lone rescuer must first make the call for help. It is important help is on the way before they begin the rescue. Once the call is made, begin to lower the bucket. Then move to a position beside the injured worker and release the blocks and fall line from the bag. You may have to use a stick to do this or you may be able to reach it with your hands. Attach the blocks to the injured worker and then proceed to the ground. Pull the injured worker from the bucket and lower them to the ground. This rescue simulation took less than two minutes to complete. Knowing how to pack the ropes and blocks into the bucket rescue kit is important for a successful bucket rescue. Begin by ensuring the carabiner and the blocks will reach the bucket. The correct block length is determined by ensuring the carabiner will reach the bucket axle. Next, remove any twists or tangles from the blocks. Then, use a series of running hitches to prepare the blocks for the next rescue. This is done by looping the rope over your hand, close to the rescue bag. Reach through the loop and pull a loop of rope through the first loop. Then reach through this new loop and pull another loop through. The blocks are now ready to pack into the bag. Slide the blocks into their inner protective bag. You can now pack the fall line into its bag. Begin by making small coils around your hand. Once you have made 10 coils, stuff them into the bottom of the inner bag. Continue to do this until all the fall line is packed. It is important to remove all tangles and twists from the rope as you make your hand coils. Now attach the carabiner to the rope loop. This ensures the blocks and fall line are released from the kit when the rope loop is pulled. Close the flaps on the bag by first lifting the bottom flap and attaching the two side flaps to it. Small Velcro pads keep the flaps closed. Next, attach the top flaps to the side flaps. Pull the rope loop through the opening in the flaps. The carabiner that is attached to the rope loop remains inside the kit. The Jelco Bucket Rescue Kit requires periodic inspections to ensure it's always in good working order. The weekly and monthly inspection instructions are printed on the top of the rescue bag. On a weekly basis, it's important to visually inspect the straps for cuts, frays, and wear, as well as the external bag. Pay attention to the bag's stitching for loose, cut, or frayed threads. Also remember to clean the boom under the bag on a weekly basis. Once a month, it is important to inspect inside of the rescue kit. Begin by inspecting the inner bag's stitching for loose, cut, or frayed threads. Also, it is important to inspect the carabiner, shackles, blocks, and connecting pins for breaks, cracks, deformations, or loose parts. Remember to inspect the rope for cuts, frays, and extreme wear. If during your inspection you find an item that requires attention, remove it from service immediately. The Jelco Bucket Rescue Kit is designed and built to exacting standards. Never modify or repair the kit unless the work has been approved by the manufacturer first. The manufacturer can also repair or replace defective kits as required. This video has shown you how to use the Jelco Bucket Rescue Kit. We have demonstrated a one and a two person rescue. We also showed you how to care for and inspect your bucket rescue kit. It is important you read all the information provided in the user guide. Understanding the information presented in the user guide and this video is important to the success of a bucket rescue. We recommend you practice the bucket rescue procedure on a regular basis. Practicing can help you react quickly if the need to use the bucket rescue kit ever occurs. If you have any questions concerning the information in this video or the user guide, please call your distributor or the manufacturer. And remember, work safe.
Your life depends on it.